Hello ladies and gentlemen, as you can probably see by the title of this video, I got a new car. I don't really know what to say about it right now. I never really thought I would get this car when it came out initially because I really didn't like the way how it looked. But then I drove it a few times this year and I'm actually really surprised because it drives amazing. I loved every single minute of driving it and yeah, I think it's a very capable car. I think there's gonna be many cool videos with it. I think you're gonna like it. Yeah, it's going to replace the E46M. It's going to replace the E46 M3, so I think you can kind of guess in which direction it's going already. Yeah, let's just here it is. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Yeah, it's my G80 M3. It's brand new. It's actually one of the first cars that I configured for myself. I think the only car which I configured was the GT3 RS like three years ago. So this is the second car that I completely did by myself and I didn't just buy it off the dealership. I waited like three months for it to arrive. I ordered it actually when I came back from Miami after I drove the red G80 there. <laughs> so yeah, I think that kind of started the whole G80 situation. Honestly, I don't 100% like how the car looks stock-wise, but I've ordered many parts already and some of them are already here, some of them are still in the way. And I think in the end, it's gonna look pretty cool. But it's also going to sound amazing. As you can see, we have the carbon parts here already. The air performance, or like, you can like click it across and then you have it. Which is very much needed in my opinion, because this looks way better than the beehive thing they have normally. Uh, yeah, it's Alpine white, I think. On the inside... Yeah. And on the inside, it's also white. Which is a very cool spec, I think. I love it very much. It's the white on white combo. With the nice starting sound as well. I just love it. Also, these seats, just wait, look at their seats. They are so comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> the seats are so comfortable and they look very nice if you ask me, especially from the back. Wait, look how nice with the carbon. Honestly, the coolest seats you could get, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about the interior once we're driving it a little bit. The back looks amazing. I think it's one of the best looking rear ends of uh, modern cars. Excuse the mess, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just so wide. Also, the stock exhaust looks pretty nice. No fake tips. Here with the carbon diffuser. Also, the 50 year BMW logo. All in all, a pretty nice car. Uh, I can't wait to get it lowered and to make it completely undrivable. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> also, it's uh, it's actually not the X-Drive version. I think most people would have expected me to pick the X-Drive version because of all the snow and stuff we have. But I chose the complete rear-wheel drive competition version because I think it's gonna be more fun that way. When I had the M5 F90 a few years ago, it also had the X-Drive and it didn't really work. So you would slide it a few corners in snow with the X-Drive on and it would suddenly turn off because the front differential would overheat. So it's not a proper all-wheel drive like you would have in the Evo or the R35 GTR. That's why I just went for the rear-wheel drive. And yeah, also you get more steering angle if you have rear-wheel drive. I think it's just a few degrees, whatever helps. I love it. You love it? I love it. <laughs> yeah, let's take it for a spin. Honestly, the weather today is very, very bad. We didn't get much snow. I would love to test it in snow. Uh, maybe we can find some. It's just disgusting out, but... Maybe if we get creative, we can find some snow. Also, there's something really important missing, which is... Now it's officially my car. to have those things i have to say but it's still a lot to learn because there's just so much going on yeah i have to drive the car in a little bit it's like 2000 kilometers the car currently has 100 kilometers so it's still a long way to go until i can rev it fully so i think you have to keep keep it below 5000 rpm which shouldn't be a very hard thing the inside is very nice i love it although it's a bit complicated but that's just with all new cars 
the sound isn't too bad either. It still has the six cylinder BMW engine, which is pretty nice. I mean, it's, it's not 100% natural sound, but still, it, it's pretty nice on the inside. It's not even that quiet from the outside. But of course, there's a different exhaust coming soon, so who cares about that anyway? It's carbon everywhere. It's actually pretty cool. Honestly, one of the nicest cars in the interior I've ever had, to be honest. Good also, design. it sounds pretty nice when you do like the shifting way. I don't know. I think it's artificial as well, but it sounds cool. So yeah, let's go hunt some snow and then we can maybe test a little bit to see how it slides around. Test the drift mode and yeah. So we found our first snow, although it's just a little parking space, but at least we can try some donuts and see how the rear-wheel drive handles the snow. Yeah, let's go! No surprise, it's... <laughs> yeah, it's no surprise, it's very slow, but I, it actually works a little bit better than I expected, to be honest. I thought I had nearly no traction. This is actually pretty nice. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Let's see if we can find more snow. Okay, so until now I couldn't find any snow, so let's, let's try the drift mode, I guess. This car is so nice to drive, honestly. because sometimes in these conditions you have grip, a lot of grip. If you drive on the left side of the road, for example, you can see. But if you drive on the right side, it's just snow. <laughs> yeah, so we counted, I think, one drift. It was 202 meters and they only gave me four stars. I think Aww. they're ripping me off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it works surprisingly well, to be honest. I wish there was more snow, but it just is what it is. At least it's beautiful here. I want to try the drift mode again, but I want to get five stars. to get five stars. <laughs> I don't really know what the criteria is, but I drifted for 300 meters with 14 degrees for 17 seconds. <laughs> and all in all today, I drifted four kilometers. <laughs> I really really like this car, it drives amazing, I think it's one of the best new cars you can buy. And before you ask me why I didn't get the Touring, I just really like the look of the normal limousine a bit better. And since I'm not really using it as a daily, I still have my Raptor as a daily. I think this is the best way to go because this is just a bit sportier in my opinion. 
and also you can't get the touring uh, completely rear wheel drive you can only get them with the x drive so we now have 409 kilometers and yeah it's my first time fueling up the car i really really love the car it's one of the best daily driver slash sports car combos you could buy right now i think of course a few things have to be done to the car like lowering it and exhaust i think exhaust is really important <laughs> but yeah other than that i love it and i'm really happy to have it and i think you guys will enjoy the future videos let me know what you think of the car especially what you think of the spec in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video